All right. So, Catherine, you're, you're a uh, uh, hospital pharmacist, yes. an advanced clinical pharmacist. Can you tell me what, what, a, what does a pharmacist do, please? Uh, so, in hospital, daily roles would be um, going up onto the ward, checking prescriptions, checking for accuracy, uh, clinical safety, um, any in drug interactions, that kind of thing. Um, also attending ward rounds and MDTs with the medical team um, for the same thing to help promote uh, medicines optimization um, and ensure patients are getting the best out of their medications as well. Okay, so you check like drug charts and so on yeah. to ensure everything is prescribed safely yes. and appropriately yeah. and, and most effectively and, and most so most effectively, yeah. Okay, sounds like a pretty busy job for you every day. It is, yeah. yeah. Do you end up walking quite a lot every day? We do, <laughs> yeah. Yes, excellent. That's, yeah. that's, that's fantastic. And in terms of if one wants to become a pharmacist, yes. okay, so if someone is at sort of A-levels, you know, going to do A-levels, and mm -hmm. so uh, what do they need to get and how many years do they spend in uni? Uh, so you need to have science A-levels, definitely chemistry, um, and probably at least one other science, um, and you need to be getting probably B, A and B grades in those sciences. It's a four-year university course, and you come out with a master's degree at the end of that, um, and then there's one year um, on-the-job training, if you like, your pre-registration training year. At the end of that year, you do another exam, and then you're a qualified pharmacist. All right. And the, the one year that you spend as a pre-registration, are you mm -hmm. sort of working and studying? So do you get paid during that time? Yes, you do, yeah. So you can either do that in hospital or in a community pharmacy, depending on where you see your career going. Okay. Well. And, um, I mean, you've been doing this for a few years. Mm -hmm. Do you, do you like what you do? I do, and it, yeah. yeah. Would you promote it as something that's a good career choice yeah, for a young person? Yeah, definitely. Um, especially, you know, if you have an interest in kind of the medical profession, perhaps don't quite see yourself going down the doctor route. Uh, pharmacy is it's a really good, really good career. You get to work with some really brilliant people. Like surgeons, like, like me. Like surgeons, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, is, is there quite a need for pharmacists in the NHS in the UK? Uh, there is, yeah, definitely. Um, there's always jobs in hospital pharmacy um, and it's there's a really good clear career progression as well. So you start as a junior pharmacist. You rotate through different specialties, um, you get to, do, to experience lots of different areas um, and then kind of, I suppose once you've decided what area you're interested in, you can then progress to the more advanced clinical pharmacist level. And a good work-life balance? Definitely good work-life balance. <laughs> Excellent, brilliant. Mm. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. Cheers.